Today we're at uh, Cicero American Legion Post 787 for the, our annual uh, New York State American Legion State Championship. Currently there are 63 kids this year registered for this year's match, both in sporter and precision. This event, it's just you get together with other teams. With the virus, we haven't been able to go anywhere. This is only the second match this year we've shot against other people. So being here, it feels like normal again. It's about bettering yourself. You know, it's not about beating anybody else. It's about you being better. Here we go, Lou. Um, my coach, Coach Minjeek, has been doing this for 57 years. He's now 86. So when we talk, or when he talks, we listen. <laughs> he definitely knows what he's talking about. I sit him down in the chair and okay, show him where the dry fire position is. Have him dry fire a whole bunch of shots and normally the first one, if they haven't been around, will make them jump. And okay, and then now we smile and get that, you get past that one and then they stay there until, okay, yes, they can handle that. All of the things that we teach, discipline, Respect for others, respect for others and their equipment, courtesy, and then of course the hard stuff of okay, what do I need to do to be able to shoot from here to there and be able to hit that ten ring? So far, we've had uh, one kid, uh, Antonio Gross. You talked to his dad earlier. His son is on the developmental team for the Olympics. He got a full scholarship to Akron, and he's a remarkable kid. I, I want to say something about the American Legion. Uh, a lot of people don't know what the American Legion does for the community. And we didn't either. I lived in the town of Webster for um, uh, 50 years before I really knew what the American Legion did, especially for kids. You don't have to pay for anything in, in, you know, in this program. It's unbelievable. You know, when I first got to the program, I was like, okay, who do I write the check to? And they said, what do you mean? <laughs> For me, it's all about the kids doing their best and having fun, but the first thing primary that we teach the kids is safety. Like I said, not all of them are going to be able to be Olympians, but they're going to have that experience that they can remember.